let's see here. So I messed up tonight. <laughs> I really screwed up tonight, actually. I was working. I was like, oh, I've got another hour, but it's nine o'clock, not eight o'clock. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get started here. Uh, I'm all messed up tonight. Let me get the sauna going. Okay. Thought I was throwing in the towel. No, not throwing in the towel. It was actually working just on the other side of the room. And I thought, how you doing, Chet? I thought I had another um thought I had another hour. And then my cousin just texted me and said, Hey, where are you? And then Chris just texted me and said, Hey, are you alive? <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Uh, I'm screwing up today, aren't I? So yeah, not good. Not good, not good. Um, through this camera in here, trying to make it work. Hi, Truth Writer. How you doing? Saw your email today. Haven't had a chance to uh, respond to it yet, but I will. Um, how's everybody doing? Let me make sure I got the... Um, let me make sure I got... I'm not even situated. I have no water. <laughs> I just jumped in here really quick as soon as I saw the text. Because otherwise... I'm going to totally miss tonight. I didn't set up. I didn't do the the premiere. I didn't do the screenshot. I did happen to see this on the floor, so I thought I'd put this on. <laughs> uh, good deal. Um, how's everybody else doing? I am way behind. You guys want to help me out with some topics tonight? I usually have something pre-prepared in the back of my mind if you don't want to talk about something specific. So Douglas like says, it's okay. He's going for an extra hour tonight since he's running late. No, no, I am not. <laughs> I've been burning the midnight oil. I've been working like crazy. So uh, don't know. Not really a fair sauna comparison. Um, since this sauna wasn't really uh, preheated like it should have been. These ceramic guys or these, um, whatchamacallit, rod heaters take a little while to heat up. So I probably won't sweat right away, unfortunately. Um, Dan says, what kind of heaters are those? They have the same look as my Royal. These are... No, this is a high tech health. I'm in a high tech health tonight. Um, is this the sauna ray? No. If you can see behind me, these are the great heaters. The um, <clears throat> they're like ceramic. I call them ceramic rod heaters. Whether or not they're truly ceramic, I don't know. The ceramic concave uh, mold heaters are what you find in a sauna ray. So these are very different. Let me see if this isn't really affixed to anything. So maybe I can show you guys what they look like. And actually, this would be better. So you can see exactly what the heater looks like. And there's like a blue, there's like a blue felt or something on the um, the actual heater guard. <sighs> good setup. Yeah, it's good. It takes a little while to preheat, but I mean, once they get going, they're the surface temperature of these is pretty hot. I'm not a huge fan of the, a lot of people, the, the poplar wood is a big selling point for these, but eh, not really my deal. Not really my thing. It just, it dents really, really, really easily. This one is all beat up because I moved it twice. Had it for a while. It's also one of the most expensive saunas, but if you're looking for something like this, it's a good, um, you know, it's a good piece of equipment. Uh, what's happening with you guys tonight? Uh, four minutes in already. Haven't really talked about anything. Really running behind. Kind of uh, ruining the <laughs> ruining the day 16. I'm halfway through. I am overdue for a break. But, um, you know, just chugging along. Anything in chat? You guys have any uh, anything shaken for yourselves? Anybody in the sauna? This is day 16 of 30 for 30. If you're doing it every day, this is um, the halfway point. It's all downhill from here, or so we say, as the guy wearing a Viking sauna hat says. <laughs> Truth writer, yeah, yeah, but it's, you know, a lot of it is uh, the other work and stuff that I'm doing. It's really not hard to do sauna sessions, but it's definitely not relaxing at night when I have to talk. I've noticed a huge, huge difference in having other people around. Like having Chris in the sauna was, was awesome. Having... Um, my cousin here last night was good. It made, um, it definitely breaks it up. And then you guys make a huge difference, especially, you know, in the, Ooh, Katie says she's in her clear light. Awesome. So give Katie a hand. <laughs> uh, who else is in their sauna tonight? Or maybe somebody like Chet, did you get your sauna session in, um, earlier today? 
And also there's a few, I think there's a few other people from last night's live or maybe even from the night before. There's a bunch of emails in my inbox. I did see them guys. I just haven't had a chance to respond. I was literally working um, uh, until like three minutes ago. Uh, Edwin says there's a heat resistive ink. You can paint on a wall to create a heat radiator. We'll email you the link. May give you some ideas. Cool. Thank you very much. Is it um, like low VOC? <laughs> or are we going to heat the Are we going to heat the paint up? And uh, so <clears throat> I'm sure you guys are aware. Most of the saunas on the inside walls are unfinished. There's no varnish or anything like that. It's because it, it gets hot inside. So usually they only put varnish on the outside. Really early, early 0900. Chet says, "Cool. Well, at least you got it in. I mean, you're you're doing good." Dan says, "Every day before I get dressed, 30, 40 minutes. Sweet." And you're on Pacific time, Dan. So it's 9.14 here. Was it uh, was it 6.14 where you are? So you've sounded, I don't know, 10, 12 hours ago. Quite a while. Yeah. Okay. So well, cool. So Katie's the only person in the sauna tonight. Have you been eating less for your diet? Truth Rider says. Hmm. Sometimes yes and sometimes no. Um, I was really cleaning up the diet maybe two weeks ago. In the last few days, I wouldn't say that the diet's been super clean. Um, also needed more calories in order to do workouts because I was doing workouts every day until two days ago. Then I just took a break. Uh, worked out tonight. Um, did like a half a workout on Sunday. And when I was doing six days a week of workout and then sauna seven days a week, I wasn't getting enough calories. So I put some carbs in there. Also had some cheat meals. Um, so in the beginning, yes, but now no. I don't know how to, <laughs> how do you average that out? I guess the real answer is no. Um, let's see. If you guys are just tuning in, this is day 16 of, Edwin says 715 in Arizona. Cool. Okay. So you're in mountain, um, mountain time, Edwin. The, uh, this is day 16 of 30 for 30 is what I was saying. And over the halfway point, it's me in the sauna for 30 minutes for 30 days. Uh, we're trying to make it a little bit more interactive. We've had some people involved in the last couple of days, which gives me a huge break. It's a huge help. I really prefer that. And uh, is that enough of the Viking hat? <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to say no. Just B says, thanks for your expertise on this subject. I'm sure the salespeople are tired of hearing your name on phone calls. So tired of hearing my name on phone calls. They just send um, legal threats. <laughs> it's really just legal posturing, but... Yeah. Yeah. Lots of bullying. Lots of, um, you know, if you don't do this, we're going to sue you <laughs> or we're going to send you some, uh, some paperwork or whatever, but that's been going on for years. This is not a, it's not a new thing. Although I did meet, I, f I forgot about that until right now. I forgot about that. Maybe a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, I met a guy who was an attorney. I forgot all about him. I need to email him. I met a guy who was an attorney and he reached out to me and said, Hey, um, I go after <clears throat> companies that are medium to large size or medium to whatever size. And those who false advertise or make um, false EMF claims, it was mostly in regards to like cell phone stuff and RF radiation and stuff like that. But it was really cool. He was going after companies that would make a claim um, and the product didn't live up to the, uh, the hype. What does that say? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Truth Fighter says, congrats on going over halfway on your 30 for 30. Is this thing delayed again? I don't know what's going on here. That was weird. There was like a, it was glitchy. And I got a, a comment today too about um, <clears throat> uh, something about my chats or my comments have been disabled. I don't disable comments on videos, guys. One of the things that I hate about anybody on YouTube, especially if they put out information where there should be dialogue or discourse, is if they have comments not enabled below the video, I don't do that. So if that's happening on a particular video to whoever commented earlier today, just let me know where that is and I'll try to fix it. None of my comments or anything like that are disabled, um, but we did have some issues uh, twice or three times with 30 for 30. Uh, let's see. Edwin says, cleared a spot in the RV today to build an insulation box for the sauna. Heat lamps arrived, getting ready to sweat. Oh, yeah. Doug's into RVs. What kind of RV? Is it like, um, I don't even know the classes of those, but he would know. 
So what are you doing, Edwin? Are you doing a collapsible tent or are you building a wooden stay in place box? Actually, you just said insulation box. So, okay. I rem actually, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. So you're going to build um, a sealed enclosure, like with some type of a door. And then this is not going to be portable. Like it's going to be stay in place. I would imagine. If you guys are just tuning in, if you have questions, I'm running behind today. I almost didn't even make the live, not because I didn't want to, just because I got kind of messed up with um, with my times and I was working on other projects at the computer and didn't even know it was nine o'clock and I forgot to set up the premiere today. So I'm here, but I don't have material pre-prepared like normal. Usually I have some people's questions on a post-it note or something inside the sauna to start start the session off with. Uh, just B says, do sauna companies honor warranties if you buy a sauna elsewhere besides a dealer? Um, that's probably, I don't know how to answer that. Just B. I I mean, if I said yes, and then they didn't, you know, and if I said no, and then they would be willing to, <laughs> um, I don't know what you mean. Like if you buy a sauna, like say you buy a used clear light sauna or a used high tech health or a used radiant health or used anything. And it's maybe a year old and there's still some time left on the, the, um, you know, the warranty. I'm not sure if certain companies provide an actual transferable warranty. You would have to ask each one, I would say. So uh, I'm guessing you're looking for a used sauna and you found one you like and you want to know if the warranty would still be valid. My advice in that situation would be to call up the actual brand name and say, hey, I have a friend that's selling a sauna. I mean, you don't have to tell them the gory details. Um, is the warranty transferable? It's, you know, two years old or it's whatever. How long does the warranty usually last? And what does it cover? And if it's not transferable, you know, what are the chances of something going bad? And if it did, would I be, you know, liable for the cost of that? And how much would it cost me to fix it? And then kind of you can make a decision that way. If that's, I think that's what you're asking the reason for. Truth Fighter says that litigation lawyer has an interesting approach against false claims. Yeah, he was like, a, he was working with companies that were uh, making shielding fabric. And they were saying that there was like a certain DB reduction in uh, RF radiation. So he was going after companies that would have a graph and have testing uh, for their penetration. So it's the companies that make things like bed canopies, um, the stuff that shields against cell towers, um, all that kind of stuff. So basically they were doing, um, it's almost like, we were talking about this the other day, it's almost like a variation of product liability, right? Like, so they found out that the materials that were being sold to other companies and other companies were building products with the materials weren't in fact uh, offering the same reduction as they were being marketed. And I can't, I think I said that backwards, but let's just say a shielding cloth would reduce RF emissions, you know, 10 dB down at a particular frequency. And it really wasn't 10 dB down. So it was, you know, seven or six dB down, it was almost half. And so any company that bought this shielding fabric and then went on to make, you know, cell phone covers, curtains, um, like if you had a cell phone tower outside your window, you can put up RF shielding fabric and then paint the walls with the shielding paint. Um, all of those companies who were using this company as the supplier were also putting out products that weren't meeting the standard. And those companies weren't checking um, themselves. So there was a there was an interesting you, you said it right. It was an interesting thing. Uh, let's see. Detail Kings. Edwin, would that box be stall outside? Would that box be stall outside? Then the sauna outside? I don't know what that means, Detail Kings. Can you fix that? <laughs> Is that autocorrect from a cell phone? Jeff West, I got a high tech health Transcend 3 delivered today. Can't wait to set up tomorrow. Cool. You should like it. It's a little bit of pain in the ass to set it up, especially the, um, well, I can tell you right now, if you try to follow the instructions to a T, uh, the, I wonder if I can show you that. So there is a door seal that's magnetic here, right? And then there's also supposed to be a seal on the window side. This side is a complete bitch to put the seal in and the, the glass doesn't actually fit. So if that happens to you, <laughs> let me save you the trouble of calling them and asking how you get the glass to fit into the wooden channel with both sides of the glass seal on it. And they will tell you, oh, you don't have to use that. Or you can cut one side of it off with a razor knife. <laughs> I don't know if that will help you or not, but it was extremely frustrating to me when uh, <clears throat> when I was putting this together. Um, and I'm very picky too, by the way. 
Truthbiter says, like false low EMF claims. Yeah, but in a different way though, right? Because it's not like um, there's a company that's making this particular heater for high tech health and then all the other sauna companies are using it too. And then so high tech health and the other companies are just using the research from the actual manufacturer. A little different, but yeah, it's sort of similar. Just be thanks. Yeah, I think you really, I, I mean, you'll like it. It's a good product. I talk a lot of smack about them sometimes because for various reasons, but at the end of the day, the product is good. It's expensive as hell for what you get, but it's good. <clears throat> just depends on what you want to do with it. I mean, sometimes I prefer the other, you know, stuff that I'm in the majority of the time. Edwin says, yes, yeah, semi-permanent using half inch R max rigid insulation, about six feet high, five feet by four feet. Half of it is about three feet high just to use wasted space on the front end, just taping the box together. Yeah, that'll work. That'll definitely work. After you try it out a few times, um, Detail King says installed. We're interested to hear how well it works out. Great ideal, great, great idea. What's going on with you guys in the typing? <laughs> I can't read your writing. Um, it'll work. I've done it before. It'll definitely work. Um, Edwin, it's a 22 foot Rockwood ultralight over 20 years old. Is that a towable or like a drivable? And if that's not the right question to ask about the type, I'm sorry, correct me, please. <laughs> like, is it a, uh, an Airstream type of thing or, or not? So what else were we talking about? A few more people signed on. If you guys have questions, um, I'm running late tonight. I don't have any pre-prepared -pre material and there's no one assisting tonight. So not as funny not as on point. If there's anything you'd like to talk about, throw it in the chat. I'll get to it right away. Uh, we've been live for 17 minutes. I am definitely lagging because it's 925. This is the first night in, I think, all of 30 for 30 that I haven't started on time. Um, let's see. What else? I've got YouTube comments on the channel that we could go through if nobody has any questions or commentary. Anything that you guys want to discuss in particular? And is there still a lag in here? <laughs> oh no, Doug's comment just popped up. He says Edwin Cool on the on the uh, let's see. I did get a YouTube comment today. This is the first time I've ever gotten a, a comment like this, and I'm kind of surprised because I do a really good job generally, or in my judgment, about recommending certain saunas for certain um, like heat tolerances and stuff like that. I got a comment from Zenovi. Chernak. It says, hello, Matt. I bought this sauna based on your recommendation. And this is the Radiant Health Corner sauna. It says, thanks a lot. Works great. The only thing I think it's lacking is no heaters up front. My back is sweating intensely when the belly needs more heat. Would you recommend adding additional heaters up front, maybe attaching it to the glass door? Would this be safe? There's a company selling the heaters. Are these safe? Thanks. So the any corner sauna generally doesn't have front heaters directly in front of you because the wall is on a 45 degree angle. I thought I would just talk about this a little bit in case somebody is tuning in and thinking about a corner sauna. The um, the sidewalls have heaters in them that are pretty close to you. They're just not huge. So it's kind of like all the other videos. Rectangular saunas have more surface area, less cubic footage. They heat up quicker and they feel more intense. The corner saunas have more cubic footage, less surface area on the heaters. Therefore, they take a little longer to heat up. They're a lot more comfortable because you can move around. Um, but my question to, ah, my question to the person I could not pronounce their name correctly, <laughs> Zenovi was what temperature are you using the sauna? Because I sweat like crazy down the front of, um, my entire body in my corner sauna. So I was curious about the temperature and then didn't know if you guys had anything to add, figured it was a good topic. If, if somebody else was in the same boat. Edwin says, yeah, I'll let you know how it works out. Yes, it is towable and not a fifth wheel. Cool. Yeah, let me know if you need any help. Um, I've built a couple variations of that in a shower before. So the insulated board will definitely work. Um, you know, taped together, you'll probably refine it later and maybe come up with some idea to have a hinged opening or something like that. Uh, if you need some ideas or get stuck with it, just email me if you have pictures. I mean, I'm happy to help you out or FaceTime you or whatever. But it sounds like you got a pretty good handle on it. Um, just be ordered a clean, clear light sanctuary two. Looks like I have a three prong receptacle. Do I need to upgrade the breaker to 20 amp? Yes, absolutely. Um, who sold you the sauna? They should have told you that before you bought it. I'm big on that. If, if it's anybody that I know, they should definitely be talking to you about that before you order. So not cool. Not cool. If they didn't, 
let me know who it was. Where you, where did you buy it from? Did you buy it from a dealer or did you buy it from uh, Clearlight Direct headquarters? Uh, Chet says, do you think sauna has helped build immunity? Three of my kids and my wife got the flu last night, like 24 hour bug had to believe hard to believe I would not get sick too. Yes, absolutely. For sure. Regular sauna use, that type of heat stress. Um, one, yeah, a hundred percent. Um, so they got, they all got sick, but you didn't get it. <laughs> Well, you're also, I mean, I don't know what they do or what their exposure to people is, but being on the force, you're most likely coming into contact with more folks during quarantine. So you're, there's a name for this too. Like it's one of the things that the scientists or the doctors or the technicians um, feared or um, were trying to warn people about. One of the bad things about quarantine is that kids and everyone aren't getting a, a exposed to the same amount of microbes and stuff that they normally would because they're just in their house and only around three or four people at a time versus being out in the world and everything's functioning and all that stuff. And, uh, that was an interesting, that was an interesting paradigm that I was looking at. Uh, truth writer says, I guess Zenobi could add a heat lamp. Zenobi. Oh, oh, the guy. Okay. Could add a heat lamp to the front ceiling to heat up his face, chest, etc. Yeah. I, I went ahead and responded to the comment. I said, Hey, let's, let's double check and make sure there's not something fundamentally going on here. Like what temperature are you using the sauna at? Where are you sitting? You know, are you properly hydrated? Do you have issues sweating? Because those saunas generally work extremely well. And then, you know, of course, if he needs more heat, I can show him, uh, you know, how to how to do that. Uh, Chet says yes or no, not yet. Knock on wood. That's good. Good, good. Truth writer says based on my experience, sauna use nuked my colds. Um, cool. Is that over? Because then you use saunas for a long time, truth provider. Wasn't it like, um, hasn't been like 15 years or something? Isn't that what you were saying? Or am I thinking of, am I not remembering correctly? So is that just over that span or just recently? Or what do you think? What are you saying there? I'm starting to sweat a little bit. A little bit. Not like a ton, but. Um, let's see. All right. I'll wait for you guys to throw some more stuff in the chat. I'm going to answer a couple more questions. Uh, here, Joe Egg, this is a pretty good question. I used to get these a lot. It has to do with the sizing of the sauna. So Joe Egg one says, surprisingly, I've watched four or five of the 30 for 30s and they are all good. The time goes by and never gets boring for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. This was a good one because the friend was cool and funny. I only say surprising because it's hard to be good for an hour on most YouTube channels. I want to get a radiant and I'm your size. Should I get a one or a two? I'm not claustrophobic. Which do you prefer, the one or two, regardless of price? Well, I like the two person because the one, I mean, the one person is fine, but it's, you know, there's like a foot difference. So this would be a good example. If I'm in the Radiant Health, or I'm if I'm in the High Tech Health two person tonight, which is a very wide sauna, the cabin in here is pretty big. A one person sauna is going to kind of come to the edge of that heater that you see there. A two person sauna is going to give me an extra foot over here. So if I want to bring in stuff like my towels, my water, which I do not have tonight, which really is not cool. I, I, I like to have a drink when I come in here. <laughs> um, I, I really prefer, and hopefully you see this, by the way, I really prefer a two person at least because it still works on a 15 amp circuit. It's probably only, I don't know, a few hundred dollars more. Let's just go high and say it's $500 more, which I don't know if that's true or not. Um, you got a little bit more space and you get the addition of a front heater on that front wall. So I kind of like all of those features. And then if you ever wanted to use it with a spouse or you wanted to have more uh, room for yourself or you wanted to turn sideways a little bit and kind of like put up a knee and be able to sit, you can do that in the two person and you cannot do that in the one person. There's just not enough room. So if you're a person that has, you know, like if you have lower back tightness or something and you tend to find yourself having um, struggling to kind of sit with good posture for an hour or whatever, which you might encounter in the sauna. Sometimes it's nice to be able to just turn to the side a little bit and then put a leg up and then kind of sit. And that is probably one of my number one selling points for the two person, even if you don't need it. So you said price was no object. Definitely, uh, still heats up fast, still really intense, uh, still, a better performance than a corner sauna, even though I like the comfort of the corner sauna. Um, let's see what else we got. 
Truth Fighter says, yes, starting using saunas regularly since 1993. That was in reference to earlier, guys. Uh, he was saying that in his experience, it definitely nips colds in the bud. Um, Jonathan Gibson, have you ever used red light therapy? Yes, have it in the other room. Don't use it religiously just because I'm so busy right now, but I have used it quite a bit. Uh, like it. Um, have a hard time quantifying like it's different than a sauna, right? So there's no, um, you know, I don't know. Pretty much every male that has it agrees or believes that it uh, definitely boosts testosterone. It's all anecdotal. Most people don't get labs pre and post, but Chet says definitely a two person well worth more room. I agree. Truth about her, a bigger sauna is great. So you can stretch out your arms, etc. Yes. hundred percent guys. Katie says I bring cork yoga blocks in as a footrest. I'm short and my feet don't touch the floor. Okay. That's a good little hack. <laughs> I can see how that would be. Well, I don't know how to show you guys, but I'm feeling it on the back of my leg right now. And I guess as the leg hangs over, if my feet didn't touch the floor, sometimes that would create a lot of tension or cut off the uh, circulation. Um, uh, Nestro, Nestro, Ostorga20. I'm sorry, I'm butchering your username. What type of sauna are you in now? I'm in a high-tech health um, ceramic tonight. Uh, Katie says, I went with the one person because I'm short enough that I can curl up. Yeah, so <laughs> I should have mentioned that. I'm assuming because the guy said in the comment that he's the same size as me. So I kind of skipped all that. If you're a smaller person or if you're female or anything like that, I mean, those the same criteria probably doesn't apply. You might actually find a one person more cozy um, in a two person. You know, if you're super short, you could probably lay your legs out straight on a two person, depending on how wide it is. But um, yeah, thanks for mentioning that, Katie. If there's anybody watching who's not tall or not like broad shouldered um, or is female or like really petite or really small, a one person is probably more than enough for you. And I did say something that might be confusing. I said in the two person, there is the addition of the front heater on the wall next to the door. In the one person, like they're both going to feel very similar. So in the one person, the cabin is so narrow. The side heaters are so close to you. Having a front heater would make some difference, but it's not going to be as much of a difference as in like a two person. So in a two person, the heater size on the sidewalls is the same, yet you're increasing the cubic footage that has to be heated up. And you're also increasing the distance that those side heaters are from you. So the addition, I was just saying, but I didn't elaborate and I should have, the addition of the front wall heater is nice to account for the additional um, uh, cubic footage in there. So it keeps the performance in check, uh, kind of like, you know, the one, there's probably, I mean, one person saunas work really good because your, your heat saturation is so close, right? There's a big heater here, there's a big heater here, and there's a big heater behind you and the cubic footage is small. So preheat times are short, um, all this stuff. Uh, True Fighter says, yeah, that makes sense. Katie, Detail Kings, most two person saunas state 15 amps, but your recommendation would be 20 amps. Do you run dedicated wiring to your saunas? Uh, I think there might be a mistake in there, Detail Kings, or either that I didn't clarify something and I should have, or I misspoke when I should have been more specific. I think, I can't scroll up because I can't reach the, the computer from in here. Um, I think you're referencing the person that bought a sanctuary two or three sauna. And it's not that I'm recommending that you put in a 20 amp breaker to run your sauna. It's that once you get to a certain size power supply, they draw over 2000 Watts. And so you can't pull 2000 Watts from a 15 amp circuit. Um, most good electricians would tell you to run that at maybe 90, 80% capacity. So if you have 2000 Watts of power on tap in, uh, on a 15 amp circuit in your house, you know, a safe range would be 1750 Watts. So most smaller one and two person saunas, <clears throat> not the clear light sanctuary because it has, um, it requires more heat, uh, will run on a 10 or 15 amp circuit. So a one person sauna, a two person sauna, even the one that I'm in right now. Um, but no, I, I definitely don't run 20 amp breakers to run stuff unless it's required, but it's really not optional. Like it's not a choice, right? You either have a small enough sauna that, that works on the circuits that are in your house or you upgrade them. Yeah, I figured as soon as I saw your comment, Detail Kings, I was like, oh, he's probably thinking about the, the comment up there. And I said, yeah, you need 20 amp. It's not that it's not that I'm recommending it. It's just that that sauna that she or he was buying. I can't remember who it was. 
um, requires it. So it's not a choice. It's not optional. <laughs> Either the sauna won't work or you risk burning your house down. So not something to play around with. You, you spend the 500 bucks and have it, um, have it installed correctly. Edwin says the Viking hat just keeps cracking me up. Yeah, that was the idea. I ordered it when I started doing these because I was like, man, we got to make this funny because I'm just, you know, after a while, I don't know if you guys know what it's like to be in here, but it's just me and I see myself on the screen and then we're kind of talking. And then if, if, uh, <laughs> you know, so we gotta, we gotta at least have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm still waiting for the day that these things come with vodka though. That make for an interesting live stream, I think. Um, let's see. Detail Kings, did I clear that up though? I want to be really specific about that because I'm super paranoid that I will give somebody inadvertently bad um, electrical installation advice. And it's very frustrating, right? Because I've ordered a sauna before and I thought it was going to be 10 or 15 amp and it shows up with a 20 amp plug. And then you go into this and you think you can use an adapter, right? You can go from 15 to 20 amp just to get it to work and plug into your thing. But then after you use it for 15 or 20 minutes, the draw is too much and it it, it, it grabs the breaker or it trips the breaker, I mean. And so then you realize that you've got this thing, you've installed it in your house, you've made a huge mess, you've thrown away the pallets or the boxes that it came in, and then you realize it really doesn't work with the electrical system that is existing in your house. So I'm always like really, really, really diligent and, and over explain when people ask about that so that if anyone sees this on <laughs> replay, they don't get the wrong idea because that is very, very frustrating. You have to usually make a decision. Do I hire an electrician to put in the right circuitry? Do I figure out if I can return the sauna and get something that's more appropriate? And either way, it's it's uh, not a good, it's either more money, more time, more, <laughs> more frustration. Uh, Edwin says, got to get one. Did you add the Amazon link for the hat to the sauna course? I did not. I'm so behind. Um, you you reminded me to do that too, didn't you? And I didn't do it. It's my fault. Um, how can I do that? Let me send myself. Let me send myself a note right now. What what else was I supposed to put in there? Because if I don't if I don't write it down by the time I get done with these sessions and all that stuff, it's not going to be. Um, let me put there, Edwin. Add sauna hat, Viking hat actually. To sauna list. I think it's in the it's in the master parts list, maybe because there's some female hats because I put a note in there. If any 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 women purchase, um, you know, an infrared sauna or something and they're really finicky about their hair or they get color or they get any kind of hair treatments. Um, I think I put it next to that. Uh, is there anything else that I was supposed to add, um, Edwin, to the course? I'm going to go ahead and, and put the. Uh, I'll put that link in there. And if there's something else, just tell me and I'll send myself another note. The um, Adam says, joining you in my sauna tent. Awesome. How's it working? How's it working, Adam? I went on the safe side five times, 250 watt and ran a dedicated 20 amp. Yeah, you were cranking. <laughs> five, five lights. What size tent did you get? Is it the same one that I recommend in the course? Uh Doug says, Adam, DIY sauna. I think it is, Doug. I'm not sure. We'll let him confirm. Pretty sure. I'm curious if it's the same. Uh, I'm curious if it's the same. Oh, towels. Dang. You guys are right. You guys are right. And you saw evidence the other night. It's funny. Somebody asked about it. And then a few days later, I've got fibers hanging out of my mouth. And then Chris is uh, making fun of me, right? <laughs> Add towels to sauna course list and parts list on Amazon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Chet. Yeah. I don't, I'm just burning the midnight oil at both ends was, um, traveling yesterday. So wasn't able to, um, get caught up. Nestor Ostarga 20. What are your thoughts on the dynamic luminaris two person ultra low EMF far infrared sauna? Not sure. Um, the other dynamics that I've tested in the past, you know, it didn't test that great. Really depends on what you're looking for. Um, those new ultra whatever ones, I don't think I've had one of those yet. So if there is anything better about them, I wouldn't want to speak out of turn. But if you go look at my old sauna reviews, you kind of, you know, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for when I'm not, what I'm thrilled about, what I'm not so thrilled about. Teresa says sauna hats definitely help or sauna hats help with dry hair. Thanks, Teresa. Yeah, that was the idea. Just sometimes people have never used a sauna before and they're like, oh, 
infrared's not that intense. Um, you know, we <laughs> we should be fine. And then the next thing you know, their their color or their uh, what should we call it, it's all ruined. Uh, Detail Kings, appreciate your knowledge. Got it. Holly Williams with laundry detergent. Ah, Holly, what? Um, where was I supposed to put that? It's a it's an athletic laundry detergent. Actually, my cousin is the one that turned me on to it. It's an athletic. It's got thousands of good reviews. It's on Amazon or there's somewhere else that you can buy it. And I bought it last time. It's like an athletic, almost commercial grade uh, detergent and kind of helps to get the smells out of. Um, but it's not scented, right? Like it's not strong. Um, where was I supposed to put that, Holly? I can't remember. Um, dang, I can't remember the name of that. I'll have to get that. Am I supposed to just have it for next time or post it somewhere? Just let me know and, and I'll, I'll get it done. Um, let's see. Adam says it is just a generic grow tent. I think two by four. Wow. That's a lot of lamps. That's a lot of heat for a, a 24 by 48. <laughs> Be careful, Adam. That's a lot. That is a lot. Um, get to toxin and says, what camera do you use that reveals infrared heat? Is it a FLIR? Uh, what are you talking about? I haven't done that in probably a year or more, but yes, it's a FLIR. Definitely a FLIR camera. Are you talking about measuring the surface temperature of infrared heaters in different spots? That's definitely the FLIR. Uh, reviews that say dedicated 3.5 EMF or lower. Is that a question? Um, Nestor Ostorga 20. Reviews say that they detected a 3.5 EMF or lower. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, is that what's that regarding? I'm sorry, I'm just not tracking it. Your previous, oh, from the dynamic. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I would have to check it myself in order to comment. I would hate to say it's fine and then it's not. I'd hate to say it's not and then it is. You know what I mean? If I haven't personally used it, I try not to talk about it anymore. Um. And I think that's the best way that people should be doing reviews, like unboxing reviews. I don't think, um, who was I talking about that with, with earlier today? You know, if you're not using stuff for weeks or months at a time, or you're not fluent with it, it's just so hard. Uh, Holly says, can you just say the name? Yeah, Doug added it for you, Holly. It is Nathan's Power Wash, Nathan Power Wash or Nathan's Power Wash. It is a detergent on Amazon. Truth provider, is it a liquid or powder? It is a liquid. Um, so that's what it is, Holly. It's Nathan Power Wash. If you scroll up just a little bit, um, it's if you're on your phone, it's, it's probably already passed. But uh, let's see. Dynamic. Matt did not see any hats on the master parts list. Really? Okay. I'll check it. I sent myself an email. So just give me give me a couple days. I'm, I'm cranking this week, trying to get everything done um, before Thanksgiving so that I can either do, so that I can relax a little bit. Um, Chris is trying to post a link, but you're not allowed to. Um, let's see. Edwin says, yes, towel is added to the list. Thanks for remembering. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> um, Holly says, thanks, Doug and Matt. Nope, no worries. That's what we're here for. Chris says, Eden Ukraine sauna embroidered night hat. Yeah, either add Amazon before the link or just go on Amazon and search for what the what's in the URL. That's the name of it. Eden Ukraine sauna embroidered night hat, or I'll, I'll put a link up to it somewhere. I'll add it to some list so that it's more convenient. Um, where do we leave off in the questions? We're going on 39 minutes, guys. So I'm probably going to log off pretty soon. Thank you guys. It's good to see everyone. Um, this is day 16 of 30 for 30. Doing all right. Doing all right. Doing all right. Edwin says, get detoxinated. Can you add a FLIR forward looking infrared camera that you add to your cell phone, Apple and Android compatible? Yeah, I have one. It works okay. It depends on what you're going to do with it, though. It's not the best. You'd be better to get a handheld. But it'll work all right. It's a little buggy for iPhone. But um, but I have one. I'm guessing you're going to test the um, the mini that you just got, Dan, <laughs> compared to a couple others. Uh, I think your boy, um, Kevin, already has some pre-prepared material that he sends out for all uh, affiliates on that to try to sell the idea about the, they call it blocking cloth or whatever. Um, or maybe you're going to double check it. I don't know, <laughs> but just a hunch, just a guess. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, let's see where are we at with questions guys. 
no Chris chiming in tonight. Chris is not here, but Chris is in the chat. The Chris that dropped the link or tried to drop the name for the um, the sauna hat, that's the same Chris that was here with me the other night. Uh, let's see. Dan says, I've got a gotcha ghost video camera that has the open spectrum. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, it probably just depends on what you want to do with it. But I can't imagine there would be a different reason that you're asking for one. Uh, True Fighter says, hi, Chris. Edwin says, I see it now. Hey, Chris. Doesn't detect the infrared. I don't know what you mean, Dan. What do you mean doesn't detect the infrared? Like, um... Like the actual uh, thermometer? Like, it doesn't show you surface temperature and then the hot spots on the heaters themselves? Because almost all of the, um... Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gotcha ghost doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. On the gotcha ghost, you can't see any difference between saunas, yet you're looking at the material provided to you by sauna companies and there's a difference. I think that's what you're saying. You definitely, you would see a difference on, um, you'd see a difference with the FLIR, but it, it really depends on how you set it up too. And you can't, <laughs> there's a little hidden trick with that too. You can't just randomly pick any heater that you want to compare. Because some sauna companies, not all heaters have the same output. Some of them do, but some of them don't. Um, I guess I could just send you a text if you want help. I don't know what you're doing, but I could send you something that I have. Uh, let's see. Chris says, hi, guys. Trying to get back to day two of my challenge. <laughs> yeah, you skipped a couple days. Where are you at? <laughs> Truth Rider says, and dinners. Got to pay him in dinners. Uh, Joe Egg one, Chris in one inflatable and you and the other facing each other talking would be funny. That's how we actually came up with the idea. He stopped by one day, got in one, somebody else was in another, they looked at each other and he was like, Hey bro, what's your EMF? <laughs> Are you river sweating? I think I'm river sweating. <laughs> and it was hilarious. That's what sold me on the idea. And, uh, it actually worked really well for me because it, it keeps, it, it keeps things going and it's good. Uh, Joe Egg One, have you been on here the whole time? I think you're the person that I answered a question for from a YouTube comment. Um, I don't know how many minutes ago that was to tell you to rewind on the replay, but I answered your question about um, the sauna size or the heat. And if that is you and you have questions about adding heat to it, just throw them in right here and I'll get to it right now. I was going to leave, but I can wait a few more minutes. Uh, Detail King's River Sweat. <laughs> Uh, get to talk to you. I believe the gotcha ghost only opens the UV side. Not sure. I'm really fluent and familiar with FLIR cameras, but not the ghost. Uh, Chris says, we got ideas in the works. <laughs> Edwin says, uh, Chris, Matt needs to bribe you with a big stake in the deal. Hey, 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 guys. Come on now. <laughs> uh, Joe says, awesome. Thanks. Tracy says, do the carbon heaters emit heat on both sides of them? In other words, inside and also outwards into the frame? Usually, Tracy, yeah. Uh, most, it depends on what type they are. Like if it's the double backed ones, they absolutely do. They try to mitigate this by having a foil line cavity in the wall. So if you were to unscrew a heater and pull it out, usually there's some type of a heat shroud in there, um, <clears throat> to reflect the heat back in the cabin and not allow the wood inside the panel to get super hot. Uh, if that's not what you're asking, just elaborate a little bit more. I'm happy to, um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know this stuff. In fact, yeah, you, no one, you wouldn't know this stuff unless, you, unless you've taken a bunch of saunas apart. But if you really strip them down and, um, you know, like I used to fish my own wiring and stuff through the walls in order to add accessories and drill holes and stuff like that. But unless you really um, investigated, you probably wouldn't see some of the, um, the little details like that. And I don't think half the people selling the saunas, unless it's the manufacturer that created it, even know. <laughs> Like they might tell you, but they don't really understand what they're saying. I was asking about radiant sauna. Is one person big enough or should I get a two? I'm not claustrophobic, same size as you. Two person for sure. Um, yeah, I, I answered that earlier. And then if you scroll up in the live chat, other people were giving you their opinion as well. So uh, definitely the two. If, if price isn't a concern, go with a two person for sure. Both work on the same circuit, more room to move around. Pretty close on the preheat time and the actual heat. Um, yeah, I would go with the two for sure. Um, I was asking about, I get a two, I'm not claustrophobic, same size as you. Tracy says, perfect. Does that mean that the wattage of the unit you're in would be more applied to the heat, to 
the body than other units. Let me read that again, Tracy. Perfect. Doesn't that mean that the wattage of the unit you are in would be more applied heat to the body than other units? I don't know how you mean. I don't know what you mean by that, Tracy. I mean, pretty much almost every company is doing some type of lined cavity before they screw any type of emitter. Um, like the sauna that I'm in right now, the reason that there's a reflective metal piece in the back is to make sure that the heat gets reflected forward because these have a really high surface temperature and don't burn the hell out of the wood um, that's behind. Um, I was asking, truth provider, I heard the carbon panel heaters are normally used to heat floors. Some of them, yeah, some of them are. I mean, I, I don't know. People claim that that's where the technology came from a long time ago. But if you look at like a Therasauna and a sauna ray or something with the concave uh, ceramic mold heaters, those are made by a company called More Electric. And they are also sold in automotive commercial applications to dry paint <laughs> of all things, like on, on body panels, on an assembly line. So, I mean, I don't know if, one of the things that I don't know, because I haven't been in this field for 20 or 30 years, right, before infrared was even around and everyone just used traditional. I don't know if the technology was borrowed from other industries or vice versa, or it's just a good fit for multiple things and they kind of adapt it or, or use it for multiple things. Some people say that, um, you know, like I just said, th those type heaters come from the automotive industry. Who I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's truly... Um, a fact. It's kind of like the way that I was taught about it. But I mean, the more you kind of go along with this, the more you kind of question. It's like, eh, I don't know. Um, why need? Okay, thanks again. Daily Green Boost is a really good one for when you were talking about green drinks. Yeah, I've got to try that. Um, not a chlorella, but I've got to try that uh, chlorophyll supplement. And I mean, I have my own chlorophyll stuff that we've been working on for a little while, probably send out some samples pretty soon to some folks uh, just waiting to get them in and see what they think. I mean, I didn't mention it yesterday or the day before, but when people bring this up in the chat and they like something like that, it, that that's a perfect candidate to try a sample pack of some of that stuff that we have that's made in the US. Uh, Chris says, so being as sore as I am from working out and starting the new, much more physical job, would another sauna sesh help with that? Um, I don't know, it depends on what else you've done. I mean, <laughs> why don't you just work out again? The soreness will go away. You should work out again and sauna. Uh, sauna doesn't help. doesn't strip real hair, hair color, right? You're talking dye, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, like uh, if you get a, um, I don't want to call it just a perm, but if you get color, if you get um, straightening, if you get, like if you have um, straight hair and you get a, a you know, a curly perm or whatever, or if you get artificial color or <clears throat> all of that stuff, any of the hair products. Yeah, it shortens the lifespan of those. So, you know, just um, if if she just grabs her hair, right, and kind of puts it up in a bun and then tucks it up underneath the sauna hat, it just kind of offers a layer of uh, protection to slow that down, stop that from happening. Uh, let's see. Matt will send you a concentrated chlorophyll link. Thank you very much. I took I took screenshots and stuff of it um, before. I just haven't had a chance to track it down or order it or do anything with it. Chris says, oh, that's right. Just walk it off. Yeah, man, come on. Stop complaining. Where are you at? You could be here right now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get in this sauna with you particularly, but we could get in a bigger one. Uh, Truth Rider says, I get impressive bedhead style when I get out of sauna. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My hair is usually always messed up. I mean, I don't, this isn't my, I don't really like wearing this all the time just because it kind of holds the, uh, well, you can see it like the back half of my head is kind of dryish. Usually I'm super soaked, but, um, you know, I don't know. It's fine. So anything else guys I'm going on 49 minutes now, I think I'm going to Chris says, get the battle ropes ready on my way. We didn't do battle or battle ropes tonight in the workout. So it uh, was actually harder than normal, but those battle ropes will kick your butt. Lots of water, Chris. That's what people forget and can make you feel bad. Teresa says, I have highlights in color. I always use a Terry turban and with hair up. Keeps it off the neck too. 
Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ropes or binders? Ropes or binders, truth provider, or ropes are binders? <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. I shouldn't have even said that. Oh, boy. All right. You guys are already getting off onto the wrong foot. <laughs> Chris is going to have a field day with this one. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a joke. <laughs> a good joke, but... Uh, you know, sometimes this stuff comes up and we, um, Chris says, at truth, Matt said, I'm not allowed binders. Yeah, you're not allowed to be bound or binded, like you said. The grammar Nazi over here has to be, has a careful watch on that. <laughs> but that would be pretty funny for the screenshot. I could like, I could wrap you up with either, uh, whatchamacallit, put duct tape on your mouth and then we could take a screenshot. But man, maybe that would turn people off. I don't know. We're getting crazy. Stay 16 of the 30 for 30. Maybe I'm starting to lose my mind. I don't know. So, all right, guys, anything else before I before I log off here? Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see you all. I won't be late tomorrow. I will uh, do a better job of that. But it's not bad. First time late. I think it was six minutes late. Uh, Heather says, this was great. Thanks, Matt. Sure, sure. Uh, thanks as usual. Bye. <laughs> uh, see you later, Dan. Cheers to you, too. Good to see you, Truth Provider. Thanks, Holly. You as well. See you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Just take me a second to get out of here.